Hey, it's Steven with SEO Chatter, and today I'm going to talk about a blog post I wrote called How to Add Keywords to a Website for SEO, and I'm going to give you 20 top spots that you can put a keyword on your website and within the HTML document. And a lot of these places people don't know about. They only know about maybe three, maybe five, but there's actually about 20 places you can use your keyword as a way to send a signal to Google that that's what your page and site should be ranked for. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to the blog post so you can read it at your leisure because there's a ton of information there, but I'm also gonna go over these for you so that you, you can walk away with some actionable tips to help get your pages to rank higher for the keywords you want. Let's jump into it. Okay, the first place that you can put your keyword is in the meta title. So the meta title is also considered the title tag, and that's what displays on the search results page in Google for your site that will link off to that page. And it's also what shows up in the top of the browser on the tab, like the one here, um, for that page. And so when you're writing the meta title tag, you just wanna put your keyword in there. It's that simple. And try to get it as close to the beginning of that field as possible. The next place you wanna put your keyword is in the meta description. And although this isn't considered a ranking factor anymore, it still is valuable because oftentimes if you put your keyword in the meta description and Google displays your page on the first page of Google, you're gonna see that keyword highlighted in bold if it matches the search keyword that the person is looking for. And so I always put my keyword in the meta description no matter what, so you should do that too. Now there's also a field called the meta keywords field and it's not used for ranking anymore. Uh, it's been deprecated, but there are some search engines, out, search engines out there that do still use it. And so you can put your keyword in the meta keywords field. Um, I personally don't use it anymore, but there are some people that do. And I just wanted to mention that, that it's a spot on the page in the HTML document where you can put your keyword as well. The next place you can put your keyword is in the URL. So the actual URL of your document, your page, you can put your keyword in there. And the best way to do that is with dashes. So for this one, the URL is seochatter.com slash how dash to dash add dash keywords dash to dash a dash website dash for dash SEO. So that whole string of text is in the URL because that's the keyword I wanna rank for how to add keywords to a website for SEO. That phrase is what I wanna rank for. Now, there's several other places in the URL where you can put your keyword. It doesn't just have to be in the page name. You can actually put the keyword in your domain name. So there's some um, websites that have what's called an ex exact match domain name. And so it's keyword.com. You can also put it in the subdomain name. So a subdomain on your site. It could be keyword.companyname.com. Another place you could put your keyword is in a folder name. So it could be companyname.com slash, which will be a folder, keyword. And that can have your keyword. And again, like I mentioned before, you could put it in an actual page name. So like I did on this blog post, it's in the page name. Now the one thing I would recommend is you don't wanna put your keyword in every single one of those locations in the URL. Just stick to one of them and you will be good. The next place you could put your keyword is in the header tags. And so the header tags are a way to organize your um, web page document um, so that it makes sense for the reader and for crawlers. So the, the tags that are considered header tags are the H1, H2, H3, H4, down to H6. And essentially what that does is <clears throat> the H1 tag is usually the title for the page. When you go to the page, that's what it reads. And then the H2 tag um, will be a subtopic of that H1. And then an H3 will be a subtopic of the H2, H4 is subtopic of H3, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's the proper way to structure a document. So your main topic should be H2s, any sub-information H3s, and then and so forth and so forth. And so the first place you can put your keyword is in the H1, and that's a very important place to do it. So put your keyword in the H1 tag, make it as close as to the beginning as possible. Um, also on the blog post here, I link off to another web page about SEO H1 best practices. There's actually about five different things you should take in consideration when doing your H1 tag because it's one of the strongest signals for on-page optimization that Google looks at. So be sure to check that out when you have a chance. 
Now you can also put your keyword in the H2 to H4 tags as well. Um, those are another spot that you can do. Uh, my recommendation is to only use your keyword, your main one, in each of those spots once. Um, so for example, often what I'll do is I'll put my keyword in H1, then I'll put it in an H2, um, and then I may or may not put it in an H3. Um, but what you can do there instead is you can use variations of your keyword in the H3s and H4s, et cetera, so you don't just keep repeating your main keyword over and over and over again. So you can put your keyword in the header tags. Um, the next spot you can put your keyword is in the body content, and there's three places there too. So that's just the text that you're reading on the page. Um, a good place to put it is in the introduction, and I recommend you put it within the first 100 words of that content because if Google sees the keyword in the meta title, it sees it in the URL, it sees it in the H1, and it sees it in the first 100 words, that's a pretty good signal that, hey, this page is about that keyword, we should probably rank it for it. The next place is you wanna put it in the main content on the page. So no matter how long your content is, you wanna to try to use that keyword another two to three times at least um, without overdoing it with keyword stuffing um, because that's basically if Google sees that you're using that word a couple more times and it's like, okay, it's more signals that, yeah, this is what it's about because they keep using it. Um, and so what I do there is I usually just spread that usage out. So if you look at any blog post on my site, you know, you're gonna look at my header tag um, and my title tag, et cetera, and you'll easily find out what the keyword is or the keyword phrase I wanna rank for. And if you just copy that and then do a control F to find that in the page, you're gonna see that I'm using this exact same process I'm explaining here. And the last place you can put your keyword in the body content is in the summary or the conclusion, the last 100 words of your page. Make sure to just put your keyword there as well. And so if you look at this content, you're gonna see that I did these exact steps here. So I'm follow, following the same SEO advice that I'm giving you. The next place you can put your keyword is in images. And there's several places here for images to help your um, site rank higher for keywords. The first is in the alt tag. So an image can be assigned an alt tag, which is the alternative text. And the purpose of that is to describe the image for a screen reader, for someone you can't see. And so you can put your keyword in that alt text field, and that's a very common place that SEOs put their keyword. You can also put um, it in the file name. So if you put an image on the page and you want to rank for a certain keyword, you can actually put, make the file name that keyword and just use dashes in between the words. And that's another place you can put your keyword. Um, you can also put it in the image title. So the title attribute for the image um, can have that keyword as well. It's kind of like the alt tag, but it's just a little bit different. And it's actually, when you hover over the image, um, you will see like a little pop-up and that's the title tag. You can put your keyword there. And I also mentioned that you can put your keyword in what's called image meta information. <laughs> and so if you have a software program like Photoshop or some other editing software, you can, some, you can actually adjust the meta information which is attached to that image that you don't see visually, but it's just attached there. And often people will um, assign the photographer or you'll see like what the camera you know, type was, or the different lens, just a whole bunch of different things. Um, you can attach meta information to that file, which is helpful for like um, photo search software and stuff like that. But it's just a place you can put your keyword there as well. And there was actually an article um, by Matthew Woodward, who's another SEO. He actually tested this. He uploaded um, a, some images to a page <coughs> without the meta information attached with the keyword. And the ones that actually had it actually ranked better than the ones that didn't. So it's just a kind of a secret place where you can place your SEO keyword that you know, most people don't know about. The next one is interesting. You can actually put your keyword in div tags. And this is another thing a lot of people don't know about. And I stumbled across this um, by watching a video um, called uh, SEO Fight Club, which is another YouTube channel uh, with some SEOs that I like to follow. And what they discovered um, is Ted Kabaitis has this software tool called Quora, which is really advanced, powerful for doing um, SEO research and optimizations. And he will actually report, you know, the number of uses that a keyword is used in the div tags on the top ranking pages um, within, I think, the first 100 results, maybe. I don't use the software. But essentially, he will be able to see correlations between what the on-page and off-page ranking factors are on the top ranking sites. And he can see, you know, through this tool, what's correlating with higher rankings. And sometimes what correlates is actually having the keyword in the div tags which to me blew, blew me away when I found that out. I thought, whoa, I never thought you could put it in the div tag. 
And the way you do that is um, you essentially just assign a class, like a CSS class, and you put your keyword in there. And so if you look at the blog post, <clears throat> you're gonna see an example from the site called Addicting Games, and they do that. They take their keyword, they wanna rank for the word games, and if you type that into Google, when I did it, they were number three. And if you look at the source code on their site, they have a div with a class called Games Categories, and they do that with different keywords throughout the site. So this trick must be working because they're using it to rank for a very tough competitive niche. So that's another place you can put your keyword. You can also put, um, I kind of briefly touched on this with the images, but you can put your keyword in the HTML title attribute. And so the title attribute is just um, an extra piece of information you can attach to any HTML element um, on the page. The most common ones are like paragraphs or your header tags. Um, you can do ordered lists, unordered lists, and just check out the blog post and you'll see exact um, a couple um, ways that you can do that. But I also show you an image from that same site I mentioned called Addicting Games, and they do this same strategy. They put the keyword under an, um, an unordered list on one of the list items as title equals games. So whoever's running SEO for this site must know what they're doing because they're using their keywords in all the right places and it's working for them. So check that out when you get a chance. Now another place you can use your keyword is on link anchor text. And the link anchor text is the visual text on the page that has a hyperlink that will link you to another page on the site. So if you want a certain page to rank for a certain keyword, then you can use that keyword on another page and link to that site. And that's sending a signal to Google that that's what it's about. So if you go through SEO Chatter and my site, and I give an example right here, which is I link to a page with the keyword text, how many keywords per page? And if you click on that, you go to a blog post titled how many keywords per page for SEO. So I'm using that link anchor text to put my keyword on another page to send a signal to the target page that that's what I wanna rank for. So that's another place you can put your keyword so that you can um, hopefully boost your rankings. And there's been studies done, and I've even done this myself, um, where it, look, it seems like there's about maybe a three to one ratio where if you can do three internal links with targeted anchor text like that, you can um, essentially equal one backlink. Um, and so internal linking is one of the, probably the most underutilized methods for um, ranking web pages on your site. And so I really encourage you to get, um, to do that and do it well. And I have some other um, articles on my site that talk about that. But if you look at my site, you're gonna see that I link a lot to other articles on the site. And so I have a process um, in place where when I write a new blog post like this one, I immediately go to the last <coughs> about five blog posts that are related to this type of content and I start internal linking with my target keyword to the new post. And I'm basically just trying to use that to artificially quickly boost my rankings for that page. And it works. Okay, the next place you can put um, your keyword is in the navigation menu. So at the top of your site, where you have your navigation menu, you can put your keyword in that location. And essentially, the more times um, um, a page is linked to in Google's eyes, the more important it is. And you can't link to a page more you know, than possible than if you put it in your navigation. So if, the top, if you really want one piece of content to rank high because it converts well for you or makes you a lot of money, then you're gonna wanna put that in your navigation so that it's linked to from every single page. Um, because having all those internal links is a signal to Google that this is important and you can send that juice to that page. Now, the only thing I would recommend here is you don't wanna use an exact match target phrase if it's something, you know, like for example, I put in here, you know, let's say you had a website and you wanted to rank for a page for best keyword tools. I probably wouldn't put that as my navigation menu item you know, because having the word best keyword tools could end up being just over-optimized if every single page, you know, through the menu is linked with that. So instead, we, it would be better just to use the word keyword tools. You know, you don't need to have that word best over and over and over and over and over again. And that'll just be a way to kind of, um, you know, save you from some uh, potential algorithm penalty. Um, another example I put here is, let's say you wanted to rank for the keyword digital marketing services in Texas, um, you know, and you want that to be in your navigation menu. Um, you don't have to have that long phrase in the navigation menu. 
you can actually just switch it up a little bit and maybe just have it say digital marketing services because that's better than just having that full exact match phrase um, on there because it could potentially just be too over optimized. And then when they get to the page, you know, it's going to talk about digital marketing services in Texas. So that's just the only caveat here for this um, part of where you can put your keyword in the top 20 spots on a site and page. Um, you just want to make sure you're not too over optimized in that area. So I hope this information made sense. If there's any questions you have about anything I mentioned here or on the blog post, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you because I want you to get the most value out of the um, SEO optimization that you're doing for your site so that you can get more traffic and rank higher for the keywords you want. Um, if you found any part of this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and I encourage you to check out my other videos that talk about SEO and different tips and how to do better content so that you can get more traffic to your site. Um, I hope this was helpful. Again, check out the blog post if you want to read more um, about this and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.